My next guest has written nine best-selling novels and today Jane Fallon releases her brand new book, Queen Bee, and she joins me now. It is lovely to see you, Jane. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. And congratulations, a cracking read. I mean, as always with your books, I had to finish it. You know, I had to, I couldn't put it down. You know, it's one of those ones. And so you can identify with all the characters. We know women like this, don't we? I may have met a few similar <laughs> kind of people on my travels, on my wander around Hampstead, yeah. And it's, it is a cracking read. And it's, it's that thing of um, being relatable uh, and also revenge. You know, that this thing about revenge and, and you know, people's, people being sort of misidentified and, and all of that. You know, that's the story that you, you want to find out what happens at the end. I think revenge is always fascinating because I think it's one of those things that you think it's going to be a great thing and it's going to sort your life out. And actually... It's not. It's no. not good for the person carrying it out. And I think there are so many sort of different interesting ways that revenge plays out. It's a lovely subject to write about. No, it really is, because you're right. I mean, sometimes forgiveness is the best way. Revenge can sort of, it's corrosive, isn't it? It can eat you away. And, and it's probably, although, like you say, you might feel better for a minute in the long term, mm. not so much, not so much. So look, normally today you would be doing lots of book signings. Are you still able to do that? Uh, well, kind of. I can't do public ones, but I'm going to go into shops and sign some behind the scenes so that people can buy signed copies. But it's odd bringing out a book in this um, time. It's really strange. I've got no idea if people are going into the bookshops or if, you know, people have so much on their mind at the moment, understandably, you don't really know whether buying a book is going to be number one on their list. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, Jane, though, I think at the moment this is when we really need people like you because I, I escaped... You know what I mean? I escaped for a couple of days in this and, and it was oh, a joy. It was an absolute joy, to be honest. It just took your mind off all of the craziness that's going on in the world. And I, I think, I think, to be honest, this is, where we, this is where we need it more than ever. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's totally true. We need escapism at the moment. And I think we will do for the next, I don't even know how long, but I don't think, for example, next year we're all going to want to be reading books about the lockdown. I think we want to be going to want to be like making ourselves laugh and sure. and thinking sure. about other things. And the thing about your writing as well, I always imagine I can see the character so vividly and I always think, particularly this one, this has got a, a, a film or a TV series written all over it. Is that, I mean, I know you don't write it for that because you can't really do that, can you? But it certainly could work very well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think all my books kind of could because of my background in TV, I think... I do sort of have that in mind when I'm yeah. writing. I have a kind of filmic structure. And, and no, I would love this to make a TV or a series or something. It'd be great, yeah, to see it come to life, that's for sure. Um, I have to say to you, huge condolences. And anybody that has got a pet will know this. Ollie, who yeah. was with you for such a long time, your wee cat, and so, so sad. Mm. Because she, you know, I mean, I followed her on, on, on Instagram and on Twitter. I mean, she, she, was, she was like a person, wasn't she? She was so gorgeous. I mean, all animals are gorgeous, but she was my gorgeousness. And it would have been her 17th birthday today, actually. Aww. So it's doubly sad on publication day. But oh, my goodness, I miss her. It's such a hole in your life when they're gone. It, it really is, isn't it? It's that thing of, of just, I mean, you can't ever replace her. Of course, you can't replace. But, but do you think that maybe you might get a little kitten or you might get a rescue cat or maybe even a, another animal in the house? All of them, all of the above. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm desperate. I would do it now if I could. Um, I'm desperate for something to sort of love and look after. But um, we think the sensible thing to do is maybe to wait a little bit yeah. to see how things pan out when you know how, when the world's going to go back to normal. But oh my goodness, I'm so desperate for another pet. Yeah, you do, you, you need it. Pets. I mean, I must yeah. my Angus has been keeping me sane during all of this. You know, just just that just that you know that greeting. I mean, I know pussy mm -hmm. cats aren't really the same, and but it, but it means an awful lot more when they do come and sit on your knee. <laughs> exactly that's I love both but that's what I love about cats is you really have to earn that love and when you get it it's so special but I just feel like it's not home without an animal in it you know I you need another little life in here to yeah. make your house feel complete I think no you're right it's like another little heart beating in there I completely mm. get that although you do have it's a little bit of solace I've been watching um the foxes in your garden the the family of little foxes yeah. Oh, they're so cute. There's one who was a baby last year has had two babies this year and they just come and play in our garden every day. And it's so sweet. 
I actually put a tennis ball out for them last night and I saw one of them looking at it and now it's completely gone. So they've obviously taken it home. Um, but yeah, I could watch them for hours and hours. They're, they're so full of life and they just run around and chase each other. It's fantastic. So as well as seeing the foxes out of your window, have you been able to, to get some work done during all of this? I mean, I know the book, this one's finished. Are you working on something else? I am, yeah. I'm writing the next one. I found it quite hard for the first few weeks. I think a lot, lot of people said the same, that because the world was so uncertain, you didn't really know, um, you couldn't really concentrate on anything. But then, luckily, it all fell into place, and I've been writing quite a lot the past few weeks. So, yeah, I'm well into my first draft for the next one. And we saw you cartwheeling. Is that, that's, your, that's the thing that you do? No, I think it's wonderful, because that's you. if you can cartwheel, then all is well. <laughs> Why did I put that photo online? That's, that's my brilliant. test. I, I know a few years ago, I started feeling quite stiff and not entirely as fit as I should and I thought no it's too soon for me to give up being sort of fit and healthy so now I, I set myself a test every year to do a cartwheel Love it. Um, just one <laughs> and uh, that's my proof to myself that I'm not ancient yet I think it's great and how's your man because you know he's been he's been at home you're Ricky has he been working he has been working Good. he's been working quite noisily um yes uh He's been here and it's quite, it's obviously we, we spend a lot of time together because of the work we both do, but sure. usually I am used to having the house to myself for a few hours a day, so it's been a challenge. <laughs> it is. No, you're right. It absolutely is. And sometimes they get annoying, don't they? Don't well, they he likes to work with music on all the time oh, and no. I like absolute silence. So just we just have that basic thing that we have to go to different spaces in the house really to get our work done. Oh, no, I can't. How do, how get, see, this is what I don't understand. My Rosie used to do that with her homework. She'd have music on, and I'd say, how on earth can you concentrate with that on? No, I I'm, I'm like, yeah. yeah. I know. What's I can't concentrate on anything. I don't mind sort of ambient noise, you know, traffic and stuff like that, but yeah. any, any... Oh, no, it drives me mad. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you completely. Well, look, good luck today. Um, I know thank it's going to be you. weird doing signings, and I know you've got a lot more interviews to do, but thank you for Queen Bee. I really enjoyed it. It, it took me out of myself, if you know what I mean. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. And always a joy to talk to you, Jane. Thank you very much yes, indeed. Yes, pleasure. Cheers.